Henry, are you going to get a hair trim today? Yeah. He's going to get a haircut. So, for little boy haircuts, I really love to leave it a little bit longer on top. Um, I just kind of like to get it off their ears and taper it up from the bottom. I do cut both my boys' hair differently because Henry has straight hair. Um, it's a little bit wavy, but um, Spurgeon has curly hair. So, um, I'll do another video for Spurgeon's showing how I cut his. But Henry's hair used to be curly like Spurgeon's, but the older he's gotten and the more times he's gotten it cut, the curls just haven't stayed around. I'm going to take clippers and trim here, just above the ear, down along there to get a nice clean neckline. And then I'll use scissors to taper up from there. All right, Henry. Mommy's going to cut your hair. Cut the So Henry's got his toys here. He's gonna be playing with these to keep him entertained. There's your Henry's cape. The cape. This will keep the hair off of you. Are you ready? I love this cape. Now, mommy's first. I'm gonna use this one, and this one's really fun because it goes. Ready? All right, Spurgeon, you build something and show it to Henry while while Henry's getting his hair cut because he wants to watch you build something. Here we go. I'm building something, Henry. I'm just gonna take it on both sides. Tip your head straight. There you go. Good job. Then they just kind of fade out here. I'm building a small one that's really long tonight. But that one is really big, wasn't long. So I'm going to make a small one that's really long. Okay, so this is going to work. We put that, we set that right there. There's a black cone. Wow, you're doing so good. Down, down. We're the almost done with the clippers. Down. You see what Spurgeon's building? What is it, Spurgeon? What's it going to be? It's going to be a small one that's really long in this rescue helicopter. It's a rescue thing that we don't know. Look what I'm making, Henry. Oh! It's going to be really it's longer really cool, than the other one. So I'll take this back here and show you what I'm doing on the back. So, so far I've gone just over the ear here, taking the clipper and tipping it out. Um, now I'm gonna take this wall on the back, just like this. Henry, tip your head down, look way down under the table. Thank you. Now I'm gonna cut this hair on the back. It's built about two inches or so and kind of fade it out. And this just helps to give a good clean neckline. But generally, I like my little boy's hair to not be just a super short fuzz cut all over. So, that's why I use the I taper out with this and then I use scissors for the top so it's a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Going up maybe like two inches, three inches, just to give that bit of tighter cut down at the nape of the neck. Mm. All right. Now I'm going to start scissor cutting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet all this down, and I'm going to hold my hand out from the head, not parallel, but out from the head so it'll keep a little bit more length as we taper in. 
Mm. This is what it looks like when I've just cut that one or two inches at the bottom and then up over the ears. So already tiny man. Yeah, it is a tiny man. So already mm -hmm. just cleaning up over the ear line. With that right over the ear and then just this bottom part right here. Now I'm gonna start scissor cutting from here. I like for my boys to have a little bit of a longer little boy floppy hair look. I don't like to give them buzz cuts when they're young. I prefer to keep a little more length. So I like to be able to cut him This is kind of long, it's kind of getting in his eyes. When he so I'm just gonna take off probably about an inch. And mommy. Still give length to be able to come. Turn them up. You seen go tell on the mountain? That's really sweet, Henry. Go tell your mom. So I spray down all this hair. I got this off Amazon for like a few bucks, like two bucks or something. do is I'm gonna take right from the middle of the back of the head take a section like this usually I'd have him wearing a cape but he's trying to play with this toy so it's just gonna be messy and we're just gonna deal with it we'll just wash the shirt after we're done so I take this and I pull out all this hair down to the, the five guard where I where I trimmed that so you can see how it kind of fades in there and then it's longer here um, lots of angles. Henry's gonna give you lots of angles. Mm. All right, now sit right there and look at the wall over there where Ivy's jumper goes. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna hold my hand at about that angle, and I'm gonna trim all the way up. Oh, don't wiggle! Don't wiggle, wiggle. Sit still. Henry, build a big jet. And take oh. the next section over, do the same thing. Oh, Holding my hand at a slight angle out from the head. I mean, it's my fingers at the bottom are right up against the head. My fingers at the top are probably about an inch out from the head. And with wiggly little toddlers, I try to keep it quick. A lot of times it's not going to be exactly precise, but I try to keep it, keep it moving along so we don't have them sitting in the chair longer than is necessary. Um, you're doing a good job, buddy. You can see my fingers are touching at the bottom and then fanned out at the top here. So that's probably going to be about two inches long cut on the top and then faded down to the five guard. So now I've faded in all the sides, went all around the whole head. Now I'm going to do the top. Which, go for trimming the top of his hair. I like it to be longer on the front so it can kind of lay here, but without being in his eyes. So 
Maybe. Sort of like that. Maybe. Um, I don't like when their bangs are just like way up on their head. So, something like that. It depends. If you were going to be kind of combing it back or spiking it up, we could do it even shorter. When they're little, they're not going to be styling their hair every day. So, it's just naturally going to lay down and I just want it out of their eyes, but not where it looks like they've got like short bangs. So, I like the back to be trimmed a little bit shorter and the top a little bit longer. So, when we comb all of this hair, I'll show you how that looks. Can you sit down? Turn sideways, that way, just right there. The front of his hair right now is about maybe four inches long, and the back probably about three. So the hair is kind of going to go like this. Big I just comb all that down. Big man. I take the middle section. Big man. I usually cut this in about three Big to five man. sections, depending on how Big wide the head is. Big Look at Spurgeon's picture over there one more time. So I take it, just trim off. I'm probably trimming off like a little less than an inch today. Take the next section over, the next inch over. Somebody turn me. Another inch. Next section over. I go this way. I start at the back of the head and work my way forward. So. Henry, does that disturb you that there's hair everywhere? Don't worry, we're going to get in the bathtub in just a minute. Baby, you like love to in the bathtub, but don't I you? don't like the tuddle. Ah, it broke my. All right, so I trimmed. I trimmed the back two inches. Now I'm gonna work to the next inch or so. I'm just keeping my hands slightly tilted up, so it's getting longer towards the front. And usually for the front, I kind of grab and comb this up and then pull it back. So that way I'm sure not to trim off too much. I always tell myself, you can always take more off. If you need, if you need to take more length off, you can always cut more off, but you can't glue it back on. So trim that straight off. And then I want to see how that lays. So Henry, let's see how this lays. Look at Mama. Henry, look at Mama. Did it get in your mouth? That looks to be pretty good. I don't want too much off. It's a little bit still in his eyes, so I'm just going to take the slightest amount off. Ah! Holding it straight up. Did you get hair in your mouth? In hair mouth. Do you want me to get you some some water? Okay. Water. What happened to your water? What did you do with it? Spurgeon, I see the water. Go get the water out of the diaper bag quickly. Henry has hair in his mouth. So I just want to comb that down. And that is pretty much it. It's not very hard. Thank you, Spurge Bud. Is it not working? Does it work? So the last thing I do... Can I get it? Was it right there? On the bottom? I'll get it. Did I get it? Or not. Alright, stay still because mommy's going to do the back of your neck now. And the last thing I do is I take the trimmers okay. and I want to trim the hair over his ears. Can we sit still for a minute? I have So what I do, are you saying we wish you a Merry Christmas? I wish you Merry Christmas. You can see there's hair still over his ear here. So I'm just going to take this trimmer and just, don't wiggle, don't wiggle, sit still. I combed that hair down over his ear. Just trim that up so it's not on his ear. It looks a little more clean. Clean cut. This is how I give him the keep your head up. I love him to have that little boy carefree look. But at the same time I like him to appear clean cut. There it is. Bucky!
Is it pokey? Okay, we're gonna put you in the tub tub, sugar muffin. You ready? There we go. Down over this ear. You can take the clipper even up behind the ear like this. Don't want them to wiggle because they'll have a really weird hairline. Get those. You try to keep the whole thing from start to finish. I'd say the whole thing from start to finish takes a little less than I don't know. So that's it. Very messy because I didn't use the cape again. He was playing with his toys. So. All right, come here. We're going to take your picture. Stand right here and I'll take your picture. Smile. Tap, tap. You ready to get in the tub tub? Yeah, tap, tap. Okay, let's take off your clothes over here so they don't get hair all over the house. And then we'll put you in the tub tub. Yay, Henry. You did a good job.